Flamenco dancing, it's a centuries old art with its roots in Spain. And now people in New Mexico will have a chance to learn at the feet of a true master. News 13's David Romero, I don't know if we're talking about him. He's live at the National Institute of Flamenco with a demonstration. I assume there's more, uh, more qualified experts along with you, David. <laughs> yes, there are better experts in this world at flamenco than I am. I'm not even a novice. But you were exactly right, Adam. But I could be if I came to the classes here at the National Institute of Flamenco. We are honored this morning to be joined by Miss Eva Insignia Sandoval. She is one of the founders here at NIF. Thank you so much yes. for having me. And so, Eva, for people wanting to learn flamenco, they don't even need to come in with any kind of uh, inclination of how to dance first off. You guys can work with them from the ground up, essentially, right? That's right. Our beginning classes are, are set in a way that th they are for people who have never had any introduction to flamenco, and many of them have never had any introduction to sort of formal dance training. But that's our job here at the at, at, at our conservatory classes to introduce people to this wonderful world of flamenco. And what a wonderful world it is. There's such tremendous history behind flamenco dancing. It goes all the way back to Spain for hundreds of years. Oh, yes. Or, uh, well, or the beginnings of it were actually in the 1400s, 1500s, wow. and it took centuries to develop. So it's, it's a fascinating journey into a, a rich cultural art form. And then with a little work, we're gonna, you can get to where these students are at right now. We're gonna give you a live look and demonstration on air. So everybody, take it away. And there you guys have it. I mean, you could just see by the rumbling on the floor the immense uh, pressure that they're putting on the on their their feet to to accomplish this beautiful art form. But again, it's something that you can learn here at the National Institute of Flamenco, and uh, we're going to have some details on how you can get involved in all of that right now. But uh, we also want to mention that. Um, uh, actually, we'll bring Eva back here in front with us. So, uh, Eva, right now, um, what do people need to bring with them to get started? Ladies, a skirt, a uh, very uh, men, just a uh, comfortable pant, a heeled shoe, a flexible sole, and a lot of energy. And your botas, bring your botas with That's you. That's right, bring your botas, <laughs> and actually, if you're low on energy, we'll help to enhance that. Yes, I'm, I'm already breaking a sweat, and I haven't even danced one step yet. They did a great stretch in here just before uh, we came back on camera. Um, so this is not only a great art form to learn, but it's a great way to stay in shape and kind of, you know, have a nice entertaining for you and your loved ones. So, Adam, we're going to send it back to you at the studio, and uh, guys, it's something you definitely want to check out. All right, thanks, David. It sounds good. The Institute here in town, by the way, is nationally recognized, as are some of the staff. Just yesterday, we showed you where one of its founders was honored on the Albuquerque Wall of Fame. If you'd like more information on the classes, we got you covered. We have a link posted for the story at krqe.com, so check it out. All right.